some words about the uh, probable probability and the electron and how we will speak about the electron in terms of probabilities. Uh, we can talk about something that comes out of quantum mechanics and the uh, intense equations from quantum mechanics, which we won't cover. But there is a result called the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which states that the more you know about the wave-like properties of an electron uh, or other particle or wave, the less you can know about the particle-like properties. And sort of as a concluding uh, portion to what we've been talking about for quantum mechanics, I've sort of got the wave-like and particle-like properties of an electron and light, or more broadly, electromagnetic radiation. So the wave-like property, or, uh, or what characterizes an electron in terms of the wave-like properties, is the fact that uh, electrons do diffract when they go through a double slit experiment, and that electrons have wavelengths. And as we'll show in a couple minutes, uh, the, or as we've just shown, sorry, the uh, velocity and the wavelength are related for an electron. Um, and uh, the particle-like properties would be either mass or position, while uh, for light, the diffraction of light in a wavelength, definitely wave-like properties. Um, and the photoelectric effect, uh, or the fact that uh, photons, uh, light, electromagnetic radiation in general, has energy stored into it, and that energy can push something um, with a force and eject an electron from an atom is acting like it has uh, mass. So that's why it's particle-like, anyway. Well, uh, again, this result comes from quantum mechanics and uh, that the wave and the particle nature of the electron are complementary properties. And that's what it's called when you talk about the less, the more you know about one, the less you know about the other. And so we might say a couple words about uh, unlike classical mechanics, where if you know the position and velocity of something like a baseball, you could very easily uh, solve a few equations to figure out where it would be a second or two seconds, or you know, as long as you know how long it's traveling, uh, where it will be in the future. And what quantum mechanics says is very different. It says, since you can't know everything about the uh, position and the velocity of an electron in particular, you can't predict where it will be in the future with, uh, with uh, any uh, with 100% certainty. And so this relates to the video that we showed earlier about uh, where uh, you would release an electron and then its probabilities would go through two different slits and you couldn't tell where it went because of the uh, probability nature of an electron or the quantum mechanical nature uh, tied up in its having a wavelength and it's having such a small amount of mass. Anyway, from now on, we will only talk about probabilities of where we will find an electron. We do have a little bit more uh, because the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, uh, there is an equation associated with it. And that equation looks like this. So delta x, and I'll put this in parentheses so that we can keep it apart from uh, the rest of the equation. <laughs> so the equation doesn't uh, eat itself. So m times delta v, and I'll define these terms in a minute, is equal to or greater than uh, h over 4 pi. Uh, and uh, let me define it. So x would be position, then delta x here is the uncertainty in position. And V is the velocity, while well, delta V is the uncertainty in velocity. Uh, mass is uh, M in kilograms, H is Planck's constant, and of course, uh, pi is pi. Uh, and uh, this will turn out that uh, the uncertainty principle will uh, only be relevant for things like electrons uh, with very, very small amounts of mass. Uh, 
um, or let's say this, it will only cause measurable uncertainty when you get to very small masses. Um, and uh, let's do a calculation with this. So an electron traveling at 2.2 times 10 to the 6 meters per second has an uncertainty of 2 times 10 to the minus 5th meters per second in its velocity. What is the minimum uncertainty in its position? Well, uh, so what it says is that if you know one uncertainty, that the other uncertainty has to be greater than or equal to. And if you want to find the minimum uncertainty, set it to an equal sign to find the minimum uncertainty. So uh, we'll set it to an equal sign. We know the mass of an electron. It's on our conversion and equation sheet. We now have been told the uncertainty in velocity. We will solve for delta x. It's the only thing we don't know. Um, let's go ahead and plug numbers in and then solve for it. So uh, let me plug in this number here. So delta v is going to be 2 times 10 to the fifth meters per second, which is about 10% of the uh, velocity. Uh, mass of an electron 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. So that's a 31 in kilograms. And then delta x, we don't know. It is equal to find the minimum uncertainty Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th. Joule seconds over 4 and pi, and 3.14 would be fine. I typically use 3.14159. So plugging this in, we've got uh, Planck's constant divided by these two numbers, divided by these two numbers as well to find delta x. I'll plug that into my calculator. So 6.626 exponent to the negative times 10 to the minus 34 divided by 4 divided by 3.14159. I don't think I have, do I have a pi button on here somewhere? If I do, I can't find it right now. And then divided by 2 times 10 to the fifth divided by 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31, and I get 2.90 uh, times 10 to the minus 10, and if you check your units, you'll see that the only units left are meters, and from our previous calculations, we said that uh, the wavelength of an electron uh, was approximately the size of an atom, and now the uncertainty in position is also approximately the size of the atom. So approximately size of atom. So, uh, and what that will mean for us, again, is that we will only discuss the electron in terms of probabilities of finding it in certain orbits or orbitals as we have coming up.